So I've been shooting with the Canon C70 over the last three years, and it's been one of my favorite cameras to ever use for my filmmaking career. I've been able to spend so much time with this camera, being able to find all the quirks and all the great things about it. And today I wanna to share with you guys my top 10 reasons why you should buy a Canon C70. So starting off definitely has to be the incredible image that the C70 offers. The Canon C70 features a Super 35 DGO sensor, and the DGO sensor is essentially a dual gain output sensor that reads the image at two different gains, combines them together, and gives us clean shadows, clean highlights with an incredible roll off. And the DGO sensor is super special because there's only two cameras on the market that have it. It's the Canon C70 and the more expensive Canon C300 Mark III. And when you pair this DGO sensor with Canon's flattest log curve, which is C-Log2, you get up to 16 plus stops at dynamic range. The image is so dense, the highlight roll off is super clean and it just feels leagues ahead of all the other cameras in that same market. Next up is internal RAW. When the Canon C70 was first announced, it didn't have any kind of RAW opportunities, either internal or external. All you had essentially was 10-bit 422, all I, long GOP, and H265 codecs, which are all incredible in their own right, but we we're kind of missing out on the internal RAW that this Canon C500 has, the C200, and I believe the C300 as well. But over time, Canon kind of surprised everyone. Canon dropped one of the biggest updates that anyone's ever dropped for cameras and they gave us internal Canon RAW light for the C70. So now this camera is supercharged and we have the opportunity to shoot in Canon RAW ST and Canon RAW LT. And the Canon RAW isn't a true RAW like Red R3D, but you still have the opportunity to adjust your sharpness, white balance, ISO, and some other settings. And alongside that, the Canon RAW files are 12-bit, so you do bump up from the 10-bit 422 XFABC files to now a 12-bit more robust Canon RAW. So the third reason of why you should buy a Canon C70 definitely has to be internal NDs. And this could definitely be number one on the list because shooting with internal ND definitely lives up to the hype. With the Canon C70, you get up to 10 stops of ND and it's not variable like the Sony FX6, but it's still internal ND and it's still extremely clutch. You can go from clear, two, four, six, eight, and 10 stops. But when you get to eight and 10 stops, they're just stacked. So you might have some image artifacts and some focusing issues, but I haven't really had any issues with that. Shooting on a camera that has internal ND just makes the entire process of filmmaking that much easier. Of course, you can dial in your exposure super quick when you're going from inside to out or if lighting changes. It just makes shooting, weddings, events, anything run and gun where you don't have full control and a lot of time to really dial in the lighting, internal ND is wonderful for that. Time is extremely valuable. So any time that's saved in your workflow, is very welcomed. The fourth reason definitely has to be battery life. The Canon C70 has some of the best battery life I've ever seen in any camera. You can use the small BPA-30 batteries that sit flush on the back of the C70, or you can bump it up to the BPA-60s to get double the battery life compared to those BPA-30s. And you can also pick up batteries like the Core SWX BPA 98 watt hour battery, which has extra outputs to power other accessories. I don't really use it that much because I really prefer the BPA-30s because they sit so flush and they're so light and they already last extremely long. It's so crazy that the Canon C70 can run for about 170 minutes on the BPA-30, which is about three hours of runtime. And then you just double that for the BPA-60, so about 340 minutes or just a little over a five and a half hours, which is just completely bonkers because a camera of this stature and image quality and features shouldn't be that efficient with battery life. These batteries are super expensive for what they are, but they last super long, they barely drain, and they're pretty quick to charge. And alongside that, the Canon C70 also has a barrel input on the back. So you can use the barrel input connector for the Canon charger, plug it straight into the camera, and now you're running off of mains, and you never have to worry about changing a battery again. So this is great for YouTube setups, studios, interviews, Anything where you're near a power source and you need to record for a long time, you can rely on that, but it's just kind of up to your own preference, but it's nice having that barrel connector instead of relying on USB-C power delivery or dummy batteries. The fifth reason definitely has to be the audio on body. The Canon C70 offers two mini XLR ports as well as one 3.5 port. And having audio on body just makes a lot of things really easy. If you're flying stuff on gimbals or movies and you still need to run like time code or audio for some reason, there's no extra handles or attachments that you're are married to because all the audio is built into the body. So this reason alone was one of the main reasons why I didn't go for the Sony FX6. If you know nothing about that camera, it has no inputs on the body. They're all built into the top handle, which the top handle is kind of clunky, it's flimsy, it can break, and it's just not really ideal, especially if you're trying to rig it up on a gimbal or a Movi, and it's just another thing to carry around. But with the Canon C70, there's no top handle that has audio inputs, it's all on the body, so I can use any top handle I want, which is great because I can run any rig in any 
any configuration to my own preference because I don't have to rely on having a handle with my audio inputs. And it's really great having these XLRs because you get phantom power so you don't have to worry about changing batteries on your microphones. The sound quality is just so good. I don't need a Zoom H4 or H6 anymore. I just run audio straight into camera. And what's really nice is that you can run up to four channels of audio pretty much in every codec besides HEVC. So if you're running two XLRs into camera, you can have those two main tracks, set them on auto or manual, and then you can have the backups just kind of as a safety in case something peaks. And it's just a really well-rounded setup for audio use on the C70. The sixth reason is definitely the RF mount and the versatility with the lenses. The Canon C70 is the only Canon cinema camera with an RF mount. And if you know nothing about the RF mount, the RF mount is Canon's new mirrorless mount. So it offers up a lot of different features and ultimately a lot of versatility. So because the Canon C70 has an RF mount, we have access to the RF lenses, which are the best modern lenses I've ever used. And the Canon RF line is super fleshed out besides primes but their zooms are really solid. There's a lot of benefits for shooting on RF lenses and RF lenses combined with the C70 just makes for a powerhouse of a setup for solo operators. But you might be wondering what the versatility is when it comes to the RF mount. So the RF mount, because of that short flange distance, we can adapt a lot of different lenses. And Canon gives us a variety of different adapters to use depending on what we're looking for. They have an EF to RF with CPL, VND, and just normal pass through, as well as the most popular adapter for Canon C70 shooters, which is the 0.71X focal reducer. And this essentially gives you a full frame field of view on a Super 35 sensor. And I do air quotations because it's not a true full frame sensor because you're still shooting on Super 35. You're just magnifying that light that's coming through the lens onto the sensor, thus giving you more field of view. So this allows you to get more of that imaging circle on your lens onto that sensor. And it's great, especially if you're using really rad lenses like vintage lenses or cool cine lenses. You want to get the most character out of these lenses. And unfortunately on Super 35, you crop in so far in that lens. So all the edges are pretty wasted. The only bummer with that is that you're locked into EF lenses. You can't use RF lenses with the focal reducer, but just kind of the name of the game of it. It's just a really solid setup. And what's cool with the focal reducer is that on the Canon C70, there's little bolts to mount the focal reducer on there. And there's these little arms to lock it in. So if you're using heavier lenses, you have the option to mount it straight to the camera instead of mounting it to rails or a cage. And it just gives you a really nice solid setup that should provide no wiggling. The seventh reason of why you should buy the C70 has to be the autofocus. And with the Canon C70 being kind of an entry level to mid-level cinema camera, it has incredible autofocus, which is kind of unlike any other cinema camera on the market. Especially when you pair up the RF lenses with the Canon C70, the autofocus is extremely reliable. You can do face and eye tracking, there's face only. You can also touch the track on the LCD screen. So if you're trying to track an object for B-roll, if you're trying to track a person, it's super easy. And with all the recent updates that the C70 has gone, the autofocus has definitely been more robust, more reliable, and it's just an incredible tool to have in a camera like this, especially for solo operators. So the eighth reason of why you should buy the Canon C70 has to come down to the form factor. And the Canon C70's form factor is pretty insane for what it is. It's a little weird getting used to because it's kind of like a hybrid mirrorless cinema camera. But the benefit with this camera is that you can run it exactly like this and you have a power house workhorse of a camera in this tiny setup compared to larger cinema cameras. You can go from super stripped down to fully rigged up and it won't skip a beat on set. Whereas other cinema cameras on the market, they kind of require a bit more rigging up, a bit more accessories to get things running and smooth. And that's definitely where the hybrid nature of the C70 comes into play because it sits in between the mirrorless cameras and the high-end cinema cameras, but it definitely punches above its weight and can go toe to toe with the much more expensive and larger cinema cameras. This camera fits extremely well in any carry-on camera case like a Pelican or or Nanook, as well as camera backpack. So if you're finding yourself on the go constantly and you need a camera that punches really well, but is really small and doesn't require much, I'd say the Canon C70 is a pretty safe bet. And speaking of the form factor of the Canon C70, the ninth reason definitely has to be the custom buttons. The C70 gives you tons of custom buttons on the side, under the lens, kind of near where the record button is, as well as on the back and behind the LCD screen. And this just allows you to have all these functions and features one click away, allowing you to not have to dig through the menus to find those settings that you find yourself using as you're shooting. You just need to start shooting at the C70, find what settings you like, figure out kind of like your workflow with your hand placements, and eventually it'll be so refined and it'll be second nature just having all these buttons remapped the way that you need them to be. It's definitely one of my favorite features of the C70 because a lot of mirrorless cameras and even some cinema cameras just don't have that many custom function buttons that you can remap to your own needs. And it's just nice having all my tools one click away because it makes everything easy, streamlined, 
and extremely smooth. And the last reason of why you should buy the Canon C70 has to come down to the price. When the Canon C70 was first released, it was $5,500, and that was a great asking price at the time. And since then, Canon has given us so many different updates with internal RAW, autofocus support, LUT support, Canon 709. There's so many different refinements that Canon has given us to make this camera leagues better than what it was when it was first announced. And since the Canon C70 is a couple years old now, Canon has been running some pretty insane deals over on B&H. Right now, you can get the Canon C70 plus the focal reducer for $5,300. The focal reducer is $600 standalone. So if you took everything at full value, that's a $6,100 value pre-taxes for $5,300. So yeah, those are my 10 reasons of why you should buy the Canon C70. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave them down below. This camera is absolutely incredible. If you're a solo operator and you're looking for a camera to take it to the next level, and if you just want cinema support, but still have that kind of mirrorless mindset with autofocus and ease of use, you definitely can't go wrong with the Canon C70. But yeah, with all that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your favorite features of the C70 down below. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.